Hi, I'm Kira, and this is What the Fuckle, where I answer your questions about the Irish language. And this video is a response to a question from Kevin, who wrote in asking for me to explain what a shavu is. So in this video, I'm going to explain what a shavu is, what it does, and when it happens. So first of all, people who've studied Irish will probably know that there's two ways the start of words change sometimes, and these are called uru and shavu. So a shavu is the one that involves the H. So basically, a shavu is when you put a H in after the first consonant of a word and it changes the sound of that consonant. It's like the consonant and the H merge to produce a new sound. So shave in Irish means soft. And when you have a shavu on a letter, it softens it. So for example, if I say kota, that means coat. And if I say my coat, it's mo chota. So the shavu makes the C sound go from k to ch. That's because the possessive adjective in Ir the possessive adjective mu adds a shavu onto the word. That C sound changes from a noise that you have to cut off the air to make, and that can only happen once, you know, you can't hold it, to a noise that you can hold because you can keep the air flowing while you make it. So if you if you try it yourself, if you say kota, it's k k kota. But if you say mo chota, you can hold that. <laughs> it sounds like I have a fur ball in my neck, but you can try it yourself. Kota, k, it's a once off plosive sound, and then mo chota, it's like a continuous sound. So another word that people might be familiar with would be the Irish word balia, means home, but then uber walia is homework, uber walia. And again, b for balia is a once off plosive sound, and then the w sound in uber walia is continuous. Over well, yeah. I'm going to put a link below that describes how all the different letters change. I'm not going to go through them all now because it'd be really boring. Um, but um, I'll give you some examples of when a shavu happens. First of all, when there's a feminine word, uh, it will take a shavu after the definite article, which is on. So the word ban, which means woman, is a feminine word. And after on, it would be on van. So that goes from b to v. Um, then what else? Oh, it happens in the Tishul Ginnadoch for masculine words. So on post is the post, but the postman would be far on fwisht. So it changes from post to fwisht. So the P goes to that th sound. Shavus also happen after um, certain prepositions, after possessive adjective, after numbers, after loads of different things. So the list is really long. So you'll see shavus all over the place, really, in Irish. Um, but if you are learning Irish, it's important to note that the shavus don't always sound the same in different areas. And um, it's also important to note that sometimes um, shavus aren't used. Like in Connemara, sometimes they substitute in an uru instead of a shavu. Um, but also, I wouldn't get too worried about all of this. If you're learning Irish, yes, do learn about the shavus and like, you know, try and focus on them in your learning. But when you're speaking, don't let it slow you down too much because people generally will understand you even if you leave out a shavu. So that's what a shavu is, that's what it does, and that's when it happens, pretty much. Follow the links in the description box to find out more about what it is. Um, and if you have any questions of your own that you'd like me to answer, please feel free to get in touch. See ya!